Sugar Boy is back because today we are making a vegan bread pudding all by coincidence, guys. Uh, a lot of these recipes that we've done over the past two years are really just designed to be minimally inflammatory. Someone like me with the liver damage, compromised digestive function has to be really, really, really careful and specific about what ingredients I put into my diet if I want to feel good, if I want to sleep right. Uh, so this really fits in with the protocol I've been doing is like a snack or a treat food. And there are quite a few people that I know that are following that type of stuff. So let me show you guys what those ingredients are. So we have a lot of nostalgic holiday-esque flavors here. Of course, everything highest quality and organic that most people will have access to, starting with the bread. This is organic bread alone, sourdough bread. I think it's in the northeastern area. This is really the best bread that is in the supermarket and it's excellent, excellent, excellent because the only ingredients are flour, water, and salt. Tastes very good too as long as it's fresh, but you know, for a recipe like this, ideally you want some leftover or stale bread. I guess the next largest component of this is going to be the coconut milk. And we're not using oil, we're not using butter, we're not using coconut cream, we're not gonna really add any of that, we're just using coconut milk, which does have a good amount of fat, but this is not going to be nearly as high in fat as a typical bread pudding recipe, which is why um, this is gonna be a little bit better for our liver health. The sweetener, we have a lot of options, guys. Classically, you would go with the cane sugar, you could use maple syrup, you could use honey, uh, there's even this cool product, uh, sweetened condensed coconut milk, which has like a nice caramelized delicious flavor. You could also add that to that. And then for our kind of flavorings, textural components, we're doing some walnuts and some raisins. Uh, these are organic raw walnuts. I roasted some up with a little bit of salt. Ideally, you would candy these and they would taste a lot better. And uh, these Hunza golden raisins, very, very delicious, very sweet. Uh, pretty expensive, but super high quality. Uh, as far as I know, these are going to be excellent in this bread pudding. It's going to give us this like a uh, cinnamon raisin bread esque thing going on. And of course, the classic uh, vanilla. Maybe we'll put a little cinnamon, maybe we won't. But that's really it, guys. It's really simple from an ingredient perspective because it's one sweetener, coconut milk, nuts, raisins, bread, and then spices. It's really five, six ingredients max. So, first, we're going to combine all of our wet ingredients and spices. We have the three cups of coconut milk, which is two of these cans. And this is one of the better brands out there. Um, can be kind of expensive, but the only thing in there should be organic coconut. You want three quarters of a cup of sweetener. So we're gonna do some maple syrup and we're gonna do some cane sugar. And to that, we're gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla extract and about half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Now we're just going to mix this up a little bit, mainly make sure that the sugar is dissolved into the coconut milk. We need a pound of bread, and this is a bit more than that, so we'll leave a few slices in the bag. All right, so this is pretty basic. We're just going to cut this bread into chunks, and if you have a sharp enough knife, it should be very easy and fast. I'm just trying to hold it together. We did a couple slices vertically and now we're just cubing it horizontally. Okay, now we're just gonna take all that bread and put it in the wet mixture. Before we mix it, we're gonna add half a cup of walnuts and half a cup of the raisins. Okay, so now we're just gonna get the bread to absorb all of that liquid. I'm just gonna flatten this out and press it. So our oven has been set to 375. This is gonna take between 45 minutes to an hour. All right, let's see. I mean, this looks amazing, but we're gonna to have to wait at least a few hours for this to cool off. So I'll check in with you guys in a little bit to taste. All right, guys, we just had dinner and we're gonna try some of the bread pudding. I mean, it reminds me a lot of French toast you'd make with cinnamon raisin bread. Now, this is delicious. What I will say is, 
definitely uh, candy the walnuts or do something to them. Now this is really, really good. I like it a lot. It's kind of light compared to regular bread pudding, even though, you know, it's still pretty heavy and it's nice, clean, and I don't really want to use the word plain because there's plenty of flavor here, but it almost tastes like fresh. Like there's not too much stuff added to it. It's honestly uh, it's not something like you're going to pass out on the couch after eating unless you eat half the tray. But I think this is something that uh, I can enjoy at the end of my meals and uh, not worry too much about have any allergic reactions or any issues from consuming too much fat. So thank you guys for joining me. Hopefully you enjoy this recipe as much as I do, whether it's because of your dietary restrictions or you just want to try something new. You can go to frank com to support me through all of my businesses. But outside of that, guys, please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. We have just restocked the brown rice crisp bars as well as the pemmican on Frankie's Free Range Foods, and hopefully we have time uh, to make some cookies this week, which are also made with a very similar hypoallergenic, high-quality organic recipe. Thanks again, guys. See you soon.